This video is for all those people who are very comfortable with their technical knowledge or professional skills. But when it comes to socializing from a business perspective, they become super nervous. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you a few tips that you need to keep in mind to adhere to proper dining etiquette. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. Hi my friends, my name is Meher Sindhu Batra. I'm your career coach and mentor helping you accelerate your career. So today's video is going to be all about how you need to prepare well if you're going for an event where you know you will be eating food. Socializing is a crucial aspect of becoming a professional because it gives you a better chance to understand your clients more as people, make a stronger bond with your team, and show yourself in the best possible way and make a strong impression on others. So if you want to make sure when you're sitting on a table with your team and you want to impress your clients and your bosses, you have to keep these things in mind. You don't want to be like that sloppy Joe that everybody really doesn't want to sit next to on the dining table. Okay, so today's video is divided into three parts. The first is the things that you need to do pre-meal before you start eating. Next part is during the meal when you're actually eating the food with your clients or bosses. And the last is post-meal. What are the things to keep in mind? First, and foremost my friends before you go for the event is that you have to keep in mind the invitation timing if the dinner invite says 8 p.m you have to make sure you're there by 8 p.m lunches are usually around 1 p.m and dinners are around 8 p.m so make sure you plan your commute and your travel accordingly so that you are not late if somebody is inviting you a client is inviting you for an event you have to show respect to them by being on time Next, also make sure you are appropriately dressed. If it's a formal event, if it's a professional event, you want to be dressed the part. You don't want to come across as somebody who came too casually when everyone was dressed formally. You can even call up the restaurant before you go in and check what the dress code is beforehand. If you're finding this video useful so far, my friends, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram page, MSB Vision. If you reach before your team and you're waiting for others to arrive, you can wait outside the restaurant so that all of you can walk in together. And then, of course, Always meet the host very graciously, thank them for inviting you and let them guide you as to where you need to be seated. They'll probably have that in mind anyway. Always make sure you communicate what you would like to eat beforehand. For example, if you're a vegetarian, the host should be aware that you are a vegetarian so that they can arrange that appropriate food for you. So don't be shy when it comes to communicating your eating preferences. You don't want to be eating something that you don't feel comfortable eating and then you don't enjoy it. That just puts everyone in an awkward position. For example, when I'm invited for dinner meals by friends here in London, I make sure to tell them that I don't eat any red meat so that they are well prepared as to only serve me anything that is non-red meat. So the second now part is when you're seated on your table and now you get served your food. Now you're seated on a table with all these professionals from your work or from your maybe personal life who are very very polished and very very well put together. You want to come across as somebody who is the same league as them. The first and foremost is my friends take the napkin from the table and fold it into half and place it on your lap. I like to keep the napkin in such a way that the fold is towards me so that in case I want to wipe my fingers during the meal I can do that between the two folds. Next is never keep your elbows on the table. I've talked about this before it does not show proper table manners. You need to make sure that you, all your utensils are near you, the plate, the fork, the knife and always never never keep your elbows next to the plate. Don't be too casual. Keep your elbows by your side as you're seated. This is applicable for both men and women. Next, if you at any time want to get up from the table, maybe to use the washroom or you got a phone call, always excuse yourself before you get up. So say something like, excuse me, I'll be right back and then get up from your chair. If you leave without saying anything, it just looks very rude. Let's say you get some food on your plate which you are not familiar with. It's completely an unfamiliar item. You don't know how to eat it. Maybe it's another cuisine like sushi or something else. I would say that number one, either you wait for somebody else to eat it first so that you can replicate what they're doing. Second, maybe you can ask the host or the waiter how to eat it. Or third, just leave it all together. You don't want to be eating something that you don't know what you're eating anyway. So it's okay not to eat something that you don't find appetizing. My next few tips are super important as you're eating the meal. Never, my friends, chew loudly while you're eating. Please eat very softly, very quietly. If other people can hear you bite and chew, it is impolite. 
so always chew delicately slowly and soundlessly and the next tip is that always make sure that you do not speak while eating so if you have a mouth full of food please do not say anything at that time finish your food have a sip of water and then say what you want to say once you swallow the food say what you had to and then continue eating again the next is actually using fork and knife properly the fork should be in your left hand and the knife should be in your right hand cutting what you need to be cutting and if it's indian food of course you can also use a spoon and a fork instead of a knife you can use your hands to eat the roti or the paratha but you have to make sure that you're keeping your hands clean using your napkin another use of the napkin is if you want to cough or sneeze you can use the napkin to cover your mouth but please never blow your nose into the napkin of the restaurant excuse yourself go to the restroom and then do the needful if necessary again if you're coughing or sneezing i know this is not controllable at times but keep the volume very low If you're coughing or sneezing very loudly, excuse yourself once again and go to the washroom. When you are sharing a dish with somebody and let's say there are some tikkas that are kept right in front of you on the table, never reach out with your hand. That is not appropriate. You have to use a fork or a knife to take one piece on your plate. Take one piece at a time. You don't want to be holding too much food on your plate. Next is having hot beverages. Let's say you're served a cup of coffee or chai. Take a small sip first to gauge the temperature of the drink or even with the edge of your spoon you can do that. Never make loud sipping sounds like <laughs> that is not appropriate. If the drink is too hot and you feel the burn, quickly take a sip of water. My most important tip here is my friends, never eat the food with your hand unless Everybody around you is doing that and it is Indian food that cannot be eaten without a fork or a knife. Always remember if it's a professional setting you do not want to be consuming too much alcohol because you may get a little bit buzzed and say inappropriate things then. Always better to avoid that in any professional setting. And also please make sure if it's a formal dinner, if it's a professional setting, you don't want to be talking about a few topics that could just be uncomfortable for certain people such as politics, religion or anything to do with your personal life. Don't get into any inappropriate or unnecessary things. It just makes the whole dining experience very uncomfortable lastly when you finish the meal make sure you use the napkin the inside of the napkin to wipe your fingers you can even ask for a finger bowl where you can dip your fingers in and again use the napkin to dry off your hands another good gesture is to tip the waiter for providing good service so you can give around a 10 to 15% tip over and above the bill which you can give in cash or even get it added to your bill and once the meal is over make sure you get up from your seat if everybody is getting up make sure to meet everybody who invited you and thank them properly once you go back home or even the next day make sure to send a thank you note once again to the host for having you inviting you and giving you such a lovely meal it just shows that you're a warm person and also very polite again it's all about good manners so you can send them a note an email a message in simple words telling them thank you for inviting me kathy i really appreciate it i in particular enjoyed this dish that you prepared i'm excited to work with you over the summer so that's it my friends once you are comfortable going to other people's events you will become very comfortable hosting your own events your own parties your own dinners and you will come across as the perfect host these are things that i have learned over the years hosting many many parties we host a diwali party me and my husband every year where everybody has a good time and that's because we have learned the art of hosting and it's taken some while to get here i hope this video was useful for you and i hope these tips help you to go for formal meals in the future if you want to see more such etiquette related videos please comment below saying etiquette yes and i will make sure to do that i'll be back soon with another one but until then keep smiling displaying good manners and working hard towards your goals i hope to see you soon bye